Chapter 6 Another squishy footstep, closer. A chill swept down my back. I nearly dropped the typewriter. Hide, I whispered. I didn't need to suggest it. Alex was already slipping behind the tall display shelf. I set the typewriter down on the floor. Then I crept behind the shelf and huddled close to Alex. I heard another cough. And then a circle of light moved across the wet carpet. The pale yellow beam of a flashlight. The light slid over the floor. Then it started to climb the display case. Alex and I ducked low. The circle of light washed over our heads. My legs are trembling. My legs were trembling. I gripped the back of the case with both hands to keep myself from falling over. Hello? Um, a voice, uh, uh, no, sorry. Hello? A voice called, a woman's voice. Hello? Is someone in there? Is someone in here? Alex turned to me. She motioned with her head. She was silently asking if we should step out and show ourselves. I shook my head no. How could we explain what we were doing inside the shop? How could we explain why we were hiding? Maybe the woman will leave, I told myself. Maybe she won't find us. Who is she? I wondered. Does she own the store? I peered out around the bottom shelf. I could see the woman from the side. She was African American. She had very short dark hair. And she wore a long raincoat. She moved the flashlight beam along the back wall. It lit up the fallen shelf, the broken antiques. Her footsteps slogged over the wet carpet. Hello, she called. Did someone come in here? I held my breath. Please leave, I begged silently. Please don't catch us here. The woman turned. Her light stopped on the typewriter in the middle of the floor. She kept the light steady, staring at the typewriter. I know what she was. Th I knew what she was thinking. How did the typewriter get on the floor? Or how did the typewriter get on the floor? Slowly, she raised the light, raised it back to the display shelf. She stared right at us. Could she see us hiding behind the display case? I froze. I pretended to be a statue. Did she see us? No. She muttered something to herself. The light went out. I blinked in the sudden darkness. Her footsteps moved away. I realised I was still holding my breath. I let it out slowly. Trying not to make a sound. Silence now. And darkness. No footsteps. No beam of yellow light. The front door banged shut. Alex and I exchanged glances. Was the woman gone? Did she leave the shop? We didn't move. We waited and listened. Silence. Then Alex sneezed. Gotcha! The woman cried from somewhere behind us.